everybody, welcome back to my channel. Look, I went to the Dollar Tree. I went to the Dollar Tree when I was in Ohio. Didn't feel much like shopping at the Dollar Tree in New York, though I did go to the Christmas tree shop. That video will come before or after, I don't know. Um, but hopefully you enjoy what I saw. I found some things that I didn't find before. So I don't know if you've seen them because I haven't been watching YouTube. Forgive me, I'm not dissing, just have other things on my mind. Um, so the first thing I found was Propel Water. Um, I picked up four bottles, two in watermelon and two in berry. Now I had gone into the Dollar Tree without my readers. I was trusting Jim's eyes. Jim said, he did read watermelon, but he said these were grape. And I was like, well, I had grape and they were kind of like a white label with purple trim. Yeah, these are berry. And it wouldn't be so bad, except I'm not a big artificial raspberry flavored fan. To me, it tastes like soap. I don't know if my mouth was ever washed out with raspberry flavored soap, who knows. Um, but then you picked up two one liter Mountain Dews. He has been cutting back, but he's really been still drinking it just a lot less. So that's why um, he just got two one liters, just to try to help. Um, and then I found a bunch of stuff. So I found these wall tiles. They're not wall tiles, they're not the peel, they're not the big square tile things. They're these backsplash stickers that look like um, subway tiles. This looks like white subway tiles. It comes in a variety of different patterns. I know I've bought these before, but not this white subway tile. Um, I don't know exactly what I want to do with it. I had an idea for the kitchen, but I don't know if I'm going to actually do it. Um, but we'll see. So I heard good things about them. That did I give them a shot? This is in no rhyme or reason, this haul, as you know, I just take it right out of the bags. If you're a person who likes an organized haul, you can just click off now because it's not one of me on those. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> I did find these cute fur scarves I thought we could use for some sort of DIY. They are infinity scarves. They're calling them faux fur mufflers. Um, they're kind of about, I said it's about six inches wide. They had it in this dark gray, white and black. And I thought they were really pretty. They're just nice, I don't know. I don't have an exact idea of what I wanna do with it, any of them, but um, on the inside of each one is a matching piece of felt or I wasn't, I was gonna say it was fleece, but it's actually just felt. So not only do you get a nice piece of fur, fur but you got a nice piece of felt on the other side as well. Um, I found these chair covers. I have been eyeballing them the last couple of times I was in the store and I wasn't sure what I would do with them. But I finally broke down and said, you know what? It's better to have them and try to figure out something later than to not have them and figure out an idea and then not get them. So I only picked up two. They are vinyl, but they used to, these kinds of chair covers used to be made out of like a uh, felt material, but these actually feel like a recyclable shopping bag or what I call a recyclable shopping bag. It's a reusable shopping bag. <laughs> so that's what that reminds me of. It's sort of that like plastic paper, plastic, I don't know how else to describe it. A plastic cloth, whatever. But they're actually a really nice size. They actually might fit on my chairs. Um, I never had luck with that, with the old chair covers. My chair backs are pretty wide. So I picked up two of those. Along with the scarves, they had scarves in stock, like new men's scarves and the fleece scarves. I found this really pretty black and white, uh, really black and gray with white trim um, check scarf. I thought that was really pretty, just right up my alley. As a matter of fact, it's very similar to this blanket that's sitting here on my couch. And then I love this and I think I'm gonna just, I was thinking about wrapping a pumpkin for autumn. Um, it's just this, like this green and ivory green and sort of a tingy yellow um fleece and i thought that'd be really cute wrapped around a pumpkin so i picked up that and it's got a little green fringe there's a black fringe on the other on the other uh, pumpkin on the other scarf um let's see where did i just put those oh right there okay i did not see this before today i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i just thought it would be great just to have like the pumpkin shape but it is this glittery jack-o'-lantern. Always shake it off when you get in the store. 
leave as much glitter behind as you can. He has a three dimensional mouth and the stripes of the pumpkin are unglittered, but everything else is glittered, his stem, his eyes, his nose, and his mouth, like I said, is three dimensional, it's sitting on there. But he's just a really great shaped pumpkin if you wanted to do different signs with, not only for Halloween, but also for autumn. Okay. I'm just gonna keep them for a second. I said this was not an organized haul right now, I'm organizing it. <laughs> So I, I think I'll keep that. Okay, I found this. I don't really use these thin ones as doormats because they're so thin and I have lived in a kind of a windy area that they've been known to just blow away. But sometimes I do crafts with them. Uh, but I saw this one, I just thought it was so pretty. And it's just this beautiful laurel wreath that says grateful in the middle. And it's ivory on black, which is so my colors. Um, I just actually, maybe it's even gold, but it looks ivory to me. It's just so pretty. I thought I need to have to have it. So, um, I might just put it on the inside, um, in when you first walk in the door, I'll change out that maybe for Thanksgiving. So that's that. Oh, we got some bag stuff together. Hold on. I was excited to find all of this beautiful new to me. <laughs> like art, like a wool decor and box art or whatever you want to call it. So I'm definitely going to share it with you. The first thing that I found that was just a unique item was this gold box that has a butterfly in it. Now the butterfly is not a three-dimensional butterfly, but he's stuck on the glass. So he does look like he's mounted. Um, and let me grab these real quick because it's very fine print. It says, follow your dreams. And I thought this would be really cute to give Sharon for Christmas. It's got a gold frame and it's got a little gold ribbon in the back to hang it. She loves butterflies. This one is just so pretty. It's got light blue and purple, um, black and white and gray. So it actually is really pretty. Um, so I thought she would like that for Christmas. But these, I never saw them before. So it's a, I wanna say it's a set. Obviously you could break it up if you want to, but there's four different ones. Let's see if I can't do this thing where I do this thing where I can show you all of them at the same time. <laughs> you know, I'll do the thing where I can do the thing. You know the thing. So, oh, no, that one's turning. Let's try this again. No, no, that one's turning. <laughs> um, so, there are these really pretty uh, shadow box type situations. They have white frames on them. They're plastic. Um, they each have a different colored background, writing and cacti or succulent in them. So I'll read them to you. This one says dream and it looks like it's supposed to be like a greenhouse and it's in this really pretty green, um, lime green color um, with this really pretty um, paddle type cactus. Cactus, that's what Mary calls them. Um, then there's this one that says hello. The background is like orangish, brown orange and it's got a, again, they all seem to have like this little greenhouse looking thing in the back. Um, this one has two different, I think that's, I don't think that's a spider plant. That might be a spider plant. And then another cactus. This one is my favorite, so I'll save that to the end. This one says imagine, and it has pink in the background. And it's got a beautiful little like cabbage type succulent and cactus on it. And again, with a little greenhouse, but this one's my favorite got this really pretty teal colored inside this really pretty pink cactus um, and it says create on it as well. I just thought it was really pretty. They each have come on this little silver sheer ribbon, metallic sheer. So I thought that was really nice. I got one of each of those. I do start about now to start stockpiling for Christmas. Um, so it doesn't hit you all at once. And uh, then you're like, ah. <laughs> if you've been around for a while, you know that I have a guest towel holder in my bathroom. Basically, it's where you keep these tall, long paper napkins where guests can choose to use a paper napkin instead of your towel because some people have freaked out about germs, whatever. Um, but I give them an option. And I want to show you that I have picked up two of the pumpkin that say thank you on them, but Look how different the print is on the background. 
Can you see them on the camera? Yeah, you can right there. See how much deeper and darker this one is than this one? And it's not even like an optical illusion. It's just not printed pro like the same. So I thought that was cute. I was like, I'll get both because I'll show everybody how different they can look from time to time. So listen, if you send your husband for this and he comes home with this one, don't get mad at him. They're all together. So I picked up two of those for, you know, guest towels. <laughs> I wanted this little garbage can. Um, I have, I had a similar garbage can in my van for garbage. I got one recently at the 99 cent only store, but I actually thought Jimmy could use this like on his desk um, for like this little scraps of whatever, like when he does um, his sticker residue for when he does planning and when he does his Bible study. Um, but I just thought it was really cute. It's got a little recycling symbol on it and it's green. I picked out the green one. Um, I don't know why, just did. <laughs> I don't know why. Ah, uh, this jeans. Um, I found a couple of things at the register. The register. That I thought were unusual. So I was like, oh, okay. Let's get them and see. One wasn't so unusual. It is two eyeglass cleaning cloths. We got one, one for each of us. Um, one's red and one's black. Um, and they're just good for cleaning, like even readers, um, without getting scratched and without fingerprints. My husband loves to put fingerprints on eyeglasses and I'm just like, I can't see anything. But this was something that I hadn't seen before. I wasn't sure if it was like a you know, Ohio thing, cause you know, different foods are popular in different regions. But this is something called Kinet. I guess it's Kinet, Kinet, C-A-N-E-T apostrophe S. So Kinet, that's what I want to say. It's chewing gum, and this comes with um, 20 individual packs. Each pack has four pieces of gum in them. It comes with uh, spearmint, cinnamon, peppermint, and tutti frutti. And pink is tutti frutti, then it's peppermint, cinnamon, and spearmint. And that's how much gum you get for a dollar. And it's got all of the ingredients on the back. They're not sugar-free, which is not unusual necessarily, but yeah, I think so. And uh, it says the original, so that's what they look like. That's how you say the name. I mean, not say the name, but that's how you spell the name. So I got them to try. Um, I think they'd be cute to also put in Christmas stockings because they're individually wrapped. So, you know, get a little gum or you can hand them out to friends, especially now when everybody's wearing a mask. People don't realize how offensive their breath could have been before or was before. And then they stop breathing in their own air. And they're like, oh my. <laughs> I read somewhere once, never refuse a piece of gum and the re or a mint because somebody might be gently trying to tell you something. So I only found two of the books for this year. Um, the book boxes from Halloween. Every year they come out with different book boxes. Um, these are the only two that I found. Um, and actually the only sizes they had this in both sizes and they had this in both sizes but this is what i chose to pick this one says tales of halloween and it's got a moon on it with a bat and a tree and on the sign it says tales of halloween and it has an owl and it's on gray with orange uh, trim and gold foil and this one is a spider and that's how, on the side it says scary stories um, and again the spider is on orange and he's got gold foil on the front and on the side, it's a skull and scary stories and a bat. Even the back is decorated nicely. And what I like about these is not only are they cute decor, they're also storage boxes, but they also nest. So when you go to put them away, you don't have a ton of different items taking up a lot of different room. So these I thought were super cute. You guys know I have a gnome. Where did I just put that other pair? Oh, on my lap. You guys know I have a gnome. Um, I do decorate him or change his wardrobe for the holidays. You, I don't know when the last time you saw him was because I don't know that I had anything new since I posted him last, but I found some socks that I thought would be so cute for hats. This one I thought was so Halloween-y, so witchy poo. It's like fluorescent green or lime green and black. And then this one, he could be a bumblebee. I'm so excited. Um, it is black and yellow, and they're really, really cute. They could also be like if your favorite sports team happens to be these colors, like 
I don't know, Seahawks are really this color green and blue, but anyway, you could um, always mix and match or whatever too. But they also just warm fuzzy socks. So if you're a person who likes warm fuzzy socks and your kids like to slide across the hardwood floors with them, go for it. They have them at the Dollar Tree. And they're by a brand called Snugadoo. I wanted to tell you that too. So I got those. Also in the Halloween section, I found this um, mold that makes vampire teeth sort of situation. And I thought they were really cute. Ice cube tray, it says. But um, those of you who know or don't know, um, my honorary niece, Eden, in Texas, um, makes uh, wax melts. She makes her own candles. She has a business on Etsy. I can link it in the description box if I remember because I'm old. But I think I, I thought I was going to get this for her because she was doing different holiday shapes um, for her wax melts. And it's, they're really, really cute. So I was like, oh, I wonder if she has vampire teeth. So I picked up that for her to have. She might not have them available till next year, but I don't know when I'll see her. Um, another thing by the register with the eyeglass cleaner was an eyeglass case. I mean, not an eyeglass case, an eyeglass lanyard or cord. What are they calling it? Eyeglass cord. Um, and I picked that up because I keep losing them. Plus, black and white check. Um, yes, I've gotten to the point where I need my readers a lot more now. I don't wear my glasses all the time because they're not for distance. Um, and I've gotten to the point now where it's like, I think I need to start wearing them around my neck. <laughs> so I'm gonna be one of these ladies that is just gonna have my glasses here and I'm gonna be putting them on when I need them. And I'm gonna be looking like this and you're all gonna laugh at me. But honestly, in all seriousness, what I thought was, this would actually be really good for your mask as well. So this one has the adjustable um, rubber on the end. So it has a rubber loop on the end with a um, sort of like a barrel ring. Like we, when we do jewelry, we call that like a barrel bead. Um, on it and then it's adjustable so you can slide the barrel bead down and make this tighter I thought it'd be really great to put the loops the ear loops through here and then tighten it and this way like you can take your mask off and you can actually hang it around your neck um, I don't know that everybody's job requires that sort of um, like maybe they need to have more precautions with their masks but just for like everyday use you're, you know, maybe you're running from the grocery store um, and then you're running into the car and then you're running back into the other store and you don't want to be like forgetting where you put it or whatever. Maybe this is, will work for some people. So, but I got it for my glasses because I keep losing them. Not losing them, I keep leaving them places and I don't know where they go. Jimmy found a piece of pair of work gloves he wanted to get for work. These are lined jersey gloves. He tried them on, he loves them. They are this like cloth material. They're lined with sort of a, um, I wanna say that they're like flocked really, but they have a really thin layer of like fleece on them. Um, and he tried them on and he said, you know, at work, um, sometimes they're handling, like when they undo the truck, it's a lot of cold meat and his hands could get cold and he'd like to have his own gloves. So get those. We picked up mom one window kit. Um, this is a really good recommendation for me. I know that you could probably get bigger kits cheaper than $1 a window, but we only have one window a year that we do in this whole house. And we tried the first three years to find like, where are we gonna keep it so that we can find it next year? And it just didn't work out for us. So this is the kind that you shrink for with a hair dryer. It comes with tape, which you can always use when you're done taping the window, you can always use it for DIYs. But I wanted to tell you something really quick. If you can find these big enough and cheap enough, these are really nice for wrapping gift baskets. So what you could do is you can cinch up all the top, tape whatever you need to tape, and then you can heat it, and it really looks like a professional gift basket. Um, so that's my little tip, my little bit of recommendation there from me to you. We picked up two boxes of tissues. I needed one for the van, um, just mid-trip. Ran out of tissues, I wonder why. I was crying a lot, blowing my nose a lot, that's what happened. So I picked up two boxes, one's in the van and one is left over here. And this to me was so interesting. By the register, we've had plenty of times in the past, um, we've shown the sewing kits. 
<laughs> but I just lost my glasses again. I sure did. Because I wonder why they're not hanging around your neck. But this, my friends, is a pocket size first aid kit. It says 18 pieces. And I will tell you, it has quite a bit of Q-tips in it, but I'll tell you. It has eight cotton swabs, one tweezer, one mini scissor, two adhesive bandages that are two, just about two and a half inches by three quarters of an inch, um, one safety pin, four, oh, one large safety pin, four smaller safety pins, and one multifunctional knife. And let's see if you can see the knife. The knife is like hidden back there. I was trying to get it so you could see it. Oh. But it's really cute and it's shrunk wrap so nothing's missing. Um, it's got the band-aids in the back and it looks like it'll fit right in your glove box or in your purse. Um, and you can always be ready for things. Plus it's got room for other stuff. So if you like uh, keep your, you know, um, Neosporin in here or whatever, you totally could do that. And the big safety pin is like one of those plastic diaper pins really too. So that's another thing. I thought that was really cute. I had to get that to share and to put in the car. The last decor item and almost the last item that I purchased, items that I purchased were these beautiful things that I was excited to find. They all are the same size, which is pretty neat. But this one is a piece of art and it says, love creates a happy home. And I thought that'd be so pretty in the office. It's just a black square frame with beautiful white print on it. I also may leave it for my um, gallery wall. We're gonna redo the gallery wall come here in this upcoming year in 2021. So um, we're probably gonna take everything down, redo some pictures rearrange it and put it all up for you and show you how we created it. Um, but the other thing that I found, I see people haul were these mirrors. Now they had only this style in the white, but they had a ton of different styles in the black. I don't think I got video of it, but I wanted this one because it actually, you could see like the most of yourself. Hi camera. Um, so I like this one because you could see most of yourself in it. Um, but this one is just really, really pretty design. Look at this really pretty details. Um, and this one is just um, lovely as well. They look cute together or separate in different rooms. Um, and I just picked up the two. I picked up one of each. But I really like how they are the same exact size as this frame as well. So the last thing, the last thing I want to show you, which I was not, pr I'm going to say proud of, excited for. I don't know, I'm proud. How am I proud of this? The same my thing. Um, I was excited to see. Oh, no, it's Christmas stuff. Never mind. Let me show you the Christmas stuff. Um, if you watched previous haul, you know that I found these gingerbread houses, but I wanted to show you together that they actually have two different styles of gingerbread house. So this one has a three-dimensional roof and three three-dimensional windows. And this one has the three-dimensional roof, one three-dimensional window here, and a three-dimensional door. I have this one. This one I had previously purchased. This one to me... I think is different. I'm pretty sure that's right, that this one is different. But each one comes with the, um, they have the exact same design on them, and just which parts are three-dimensional is what's different. See that? So I picked up those as well. I found this ribbon. It says, it's got a snowflake on it and it says peace, love, and joy, and it repeats in different fonts. And it's sort of a, I wanna say it's like white, pure white with gold writing. Um, but I just thought it was really, really pretty. Um, and of course it's from the Christmas uh, line and it has nine feet of ribbon in it. It is five eighths of an inch wide and it's like a satin ribbon. But that was pretty. And then these I found, which were different than I'd ever seen before, are these ornaments. You get five to a pack. They're wood. These ones are Christmas trees with little holes in them. Um, these ones are Christmas ornaments with cutouts, laser cutouts in them. I really love that. 
And then the last ones are these ones that say Mary and the Y is the deer head. So stinking adorable. Um, I just didn't even know that they existed in the world. So I had to make sure they existed in mine. Okay. <laughs> so now the last thing that I'm excited to share with you. So this is a blast from my past. Um, no matter who you are watching this, um, I will let you know that I was born in 1970, as you might have known, because this is my 50th year. Um, and one of the things that I grew up on that we used to save our pennies for and explore our creativity was color forms. Can you believe color forms are back? I'm like, first of all, I'm really excited because it's it's a hands-on tactile motor skills all those things that you get but it's also not electronic and kids can use their imagination um i love this um you get it says 40 piece play set so um it used to come in a box and it would have sheets of color forms and like a play background but now that it all comes like this it all comes in one folder which is great you can actually get like a file folder system and put them all in there for travel i love it this one is tonka trucks this is Tonka and it's Tonka trunks and the um Bentley and Jackson would tell me like that's a backhoe and whatever. I don't know what they are a dump truck <laughs> this one was from Jurassic World it has dinosaurs and it's got this great prehistoric world on it this one is Mickey Mouse so it's Mickey Goofy Donald and some of his friends and just to give you an idea, it says it's got uh, three backgrounds and 40 different stickers. And it shows you on the front the three backgrounds, too. Um, and then I got Minnie Mouse. Um, again, same thing, three backgrounds, 40 stickers. And that's what the backgrounds look like there. And finally, the last one is Disney Princesses. Got three backgrounds and 40 stickers. So I thought that was really, I was excited. I saw them hanging there and I was like, Jimmy's like, what are you gonna do with them? I'm like, listen, <laughs> I bought one, I bought three boy ones and one girl one because I can give them to the kids for Christmas. So there, I just had an extra girl one. Maybe I wanna be a child at heart. So I picked them up and I was so excited to see them. So I was really excited to share them with you. Well, that's it for the Dollar Tree haul. I know it's been really long, sorry. It's a lot of stuff. If you guys have any questions at all, you know what to do, just stick them down there. And if you have anyone who you think might be interested in seeing anything, I mean anything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, go ahead and share this video. Again, this Dollar Tree was in Worcester, Ohio on Burbank. It's not really on Burbank because it's like a little side street, but if you know what I'm talking about, Highway 83, um, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Next to the Joanne's, that one. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, share, all the things. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I've got lots of hauls. I do do DIYs. I hopefully will get back to DIYs so soon. I actually just really want to go inside and start creating right now, but I've got to get my feet up because travel. That's all I have to say, just travel. Um, so hopefully we'll see you in the next one. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And see you next time. Bye. And thank you for your support. Bye.